A gorgeous early October morning found me at the Town River Marina in Quincy, Massachusetts, home base for Bill and Jules Boston Saltwater Fishing Charters. The company is run by the husband and wife team of Bill Bryant and Jules Silva, who fish the Boston Harbor area in a 27-foot polar center console, a more enthusiastic charter crew you're not likely to find. Okay. I don't know how long today's going to last. Oh, we'll see. Okay. I'll play by ear. Yeah. We're going to go right. get some pogies and go beat up some fish. Our quarry this day was striped bass, and we were fortunate to have big schools of pogies right inside the river. Got them? Yep. See that big disturbance up ahead? The thing is, to get them to the boat before the bluefish get them. Before the bluefish get them like that. Did you get that? I had to catch up. Oh, the bluefish got it. him. No. Oh, missed it. Bluefish already yeah. got him. Tom. Yeah. Came right up out of the water, took his tail off. Yeah. When people are out there throwing way to troubles to snag pogies, they throw them out, and the minute it hits the water, they start trying to snag them. And most of the time, they don't get them. Sometimes they do. That weight hits the water. Those pogies start going down. So what you should do is Coming let the there, Juju, weighted Juju, hook drop a little bit first, and then pull the rod like this, nice and easy, till you feel actually the weight bouncing right off those pogies. Then snag. You'll save yourself a lot of energy and get a lot more bait that way. With a dozen or so liveies in the live well, we are ready to head for the first stop of the day, Point Allerton off nearby Hull. <laughs> they're, they're schooling up. Chinese Well, they're strong swimmers, and when you get to fish on them, chasing them, they can move pretty darn fast. Okay, so what we're doing is, you can see my contour lines as, as I'm fishing this edge right here. And then it steps down to shallower, and, or deeper and deeper water. So it's got a lot of current, there's a lot of boulders here, a lot of mud, a lot of places for those baits to lay or get flushed to those bass. So it's really current sometimes in here when it's full moon or new moon tide can go as fast as four knot. That was what that zit 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 was. Well uh Guy's one guess at out. one guess at what happened to this poor guy. It's amazing how they can a bluefish can just chomp right behind the hook. Miss that hook. Such great ice. Little there. appetizer. Yeah. <laughs> He's scared. Oh yeah. Get him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got him, Juju? Yep. Good job. I'm going to spy not to reel this You definitely don't want to stick your thumb definitely in this mouth. You definitely don't want to stick your finger in that mouth. <laughs> He's pretty. Nice yeah, Chuck, you got one. And these eyes, man, they see you. And when you have them on the deck. <laughs> These are Loomis rods, uh, Shimano reels. These are 4,500 bait runners. We fish them with 50 pound braid. And I'll either use a steel leader when there's bluefish around, or I'll use 60 pound test mono or fluorocarbon. And we're fish today. There's a double hook rig. Okay. The main leader is 60 or 80 pound mono. The front hook we're using are BMC hooks either three aught or four aught, and then the back hook we're using is a four aught light bait. A lot of times when a fish comes up and grabs a bait, and you set the hook on them and you miss them, or if the fish drops the bait, never reel it back to the boat. Leave it right there. You can see the bass hit it really hard, and then actually push part of the fish's stomach out. Yeah, it crushed it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't be in a hurry to bring that fish back because it's a good opportunity that fish will come right back and take it again. He doesn't know that it got pulled away from him. He ain't that smart. Wait till he's got 
caught it. Wait till he's really running the rod tips. And usually when the bait's nervous, you'll see the rod tip twitching a lot. And these pogies are very strong swimmers. I mean, they can bend that rod and run. And people think they have a fish on, and they don't. It's just the pogey running away. So you want to really make sure you got that fish on there before you set that hook, or you're going to miss them. After striking out on bass off Point Allerton, we opted for a change of scenery and moved inside the Harbor Islands. Within minutes, we hit pay dirt. Don't go back hard. Just let her do her thing. That's a bass. Oh yeah, just take your time. Hooked up. Took a little while, but we finally found the fish. Had a move. But we came to this spot, man. This pokey got slammed right away. The other one's getting slammed. Right up the water. Right, the fish was on it too. Okay. Beautiful Boston Harbor striper caught on Bill and Jules, Boston saltwater fishing. <laughs> nice fish. Very nice fish. 28 pounds. 28 pound Boston Harbor striper. He was looking at you, baby. Yeah.